The Life of Bougainville Secessionist Leader, Dr. John Momis. John Momis was born in 1942 at the peak of the World War II, far away from his true home, Bin, in the small coastal town of Salamaua, the pre-World War II headquarters of Moro Bur District. His father, Joseph Kakata, was from Maru village in Bin, and his mother, Helen Shunwa, was of mixed Chinese and New Ireland descent. At the time his father was probably the first Bougainville man to marry a woman of mixed Chinese and native parentage. Momis was later told that his family was ostracized by many of his mother's relatives, from the Chinese side of the family, because it was unheard for a native to marry a mixed-race woman. At the end of the war, early in 1946, Momis and his family returned to Bougainville by an army boat to the first port at Torakina, on west coast Bougainville. It was the Australian New Guinea Administrative Unit headquarters, where Bougainville leaders were being called to be briefed about the reconstruction effort that was to be undertaken by all sectors of the community. It was in Torakina that Momis' parents separated. Momis remained with his father, who took him back to Maru, in Bin. His mother took his brother Jim with her back to New Island where her brothers and sisters were. Momis did not see his mother and brother again for almost 30 years, until after he was elected to the House of Assembly, the colonial legislature, in 1972. Momis began his primary education in 1951 at Kangu Government Agency School, and stayed there through to grade 6. It was the first government school established in Bougainville and took in students from whole district. In 1956, Momis passed a test resulting in him being selected, to go to Caravat, East New Britain, to join other students from the New Guinea Islands to sit for an Australian scholarship examination. After the examination, Momis was among five students from New Guinea Islands selected to study in Australia. From 1957 to 1962 Momis completed his high school and secondary school in Australia. Upon completion of his high school's and secondary school education, Momis was offered a scholarship to study law at the University of Sydney in Australia. However, Momis dropped the offer, and went to Catholic priesthood at the Holy Spirit Seminary in Madang. Because he was more interested in to work for church as a priest and as a servant of the people. In 1968, due to some problems at the seminary, Momis spent a year teaching at St. Joseph's Marist Brothers High School, Rigu at Kieta in central Bougainville. In 1969, after a year teaching at Rigu, Bishop Leo LeMay sent him to St. Columban Seminary in Sydney to do his final year of seminary studies. At the end of 1969 Momus returned to Bougainville and was ordained a priest in January 1970. He was then a Catholic Education Secretary until he contested and won the House of Assembly election in 1972. Momis went to the House of Assembly with a mission to change the mining policy and to seek the introduction of a decentralized system of government for Papua New Guinea based on the principle of subsidiarity, which could give Bougainvillians real self-determination. The new Samari government did develop such a new policy and later successfully renegotiated the original Bougainville Copper Agreement or BCA in line with that new policy. The new BCA called for a review every seven years, which should have occurred in 1981 and 1988, but it was a requirement which the national government basically ignored, with tragic consequences. Towards the end of 1972 Chief Minister Michael Samari appointed Momis as Deputy Chairman of the Constitutional Planning Committee or CPC, the committee of the House of Assembly charged with responsibility for developing the detailed proposals for Papua New Guinea's independence constitution. Because of the demands of his other duties, Chief Samari rarely participated in the CPC's activities, and Momis was de facto chairman. In the mid-1974, the first constitution proposal was tabled to the House of Assembly and posed a greater opposition from Samari government. The constitution draft by then strongly enshrined for the decentralization of powers and provincial governments, something which the Bougainvillians by then have voice out. Throughout this same period, tensions were also developing between the Bougainville leadership and the Samari government over Bougainville's efforts to develop its provincial government, largely in line with the CPC's detailed proposals on the provincial government system. 
It was at the end of July 1975 that Chief Minister Samari moved in the National Constituent Assembly for deletion from the draft constitution of the whole chapter on the provincial government. As a result, the tension arises in Bougainville against the Samari government. Momis resigned and went to Bougainville and he was requested by the Bougainville leadership to help them to voice out their wish. He then met John Tierson and went to United Nations headquarters in New York to present their case for Bougainville independence to the United Nations Committee on Decolonization. The response received however was disappointing. Out of frustration, on 1 September 1975, the Bougainvillians started the rebellion and started the first revolution. They even go to the extreme where the leaders of Bougainville had unilaterally declared Bougainville's independence from Papua New Guinea, in advance of Papua New Guinea's own political independence. Michael Samari was under considerable pressure from some quarters to take a tougher stand against Bougainville by sending in the army to crush the rebellion. But friends of Bougainville like the late Gabriel Greece, the late Sir Ignatius Key Laguerre, Bernard Narakobi, and others prevailed on the Prime Minister to refrain from doing so. When Momis returned from New York, he was appointed leader of the Bougainville to plan the strategy for self-determination. In 1976, Momis re-established dialogue with Samari, and together with Bougainville leaders they negotiated for the Bougainville provincial government. After the long period of negotiations, the Bougainville agreement was signed and the Bougainville was granted the provincial government. In 1977, Momis contested and won the national general election and became the Minister for Decentralization until 1982, including two years in the government of Prime Minister Julius Chan. In March 1980, Momis joined with other members of parliament from North Solomons, Bougainville, to support a successful vote of no confidence to Michael Samari. Chan became Prime Minister after Samari's ouster. Michael Samari returned to power for a second time in March 1985. Samari appointed Momis as both Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Public Services. Momis held a number of positions in PNG government over the next decade, including Deputy Leader of the Opposition from 1985 until 1987 and again from 1987 to 1988. Minister for Provincial Affairs from 1988 until 1992 in the government of Prime Minister Rabi Namaliu, Shadow Minister for Bougainville Affairs in 1992, Shadow Minister for Provincial Affairs in 1993, Deputy Leader of the Opposition in 1994, and Minister for Information and Communication in 1994. Further, Momis was elected as the Governor of Bougainville, serving from December 9, 1999 until April 20, 2005. He resigned as governor in 2005 to contest Bougainville's first presidential election that year. He ultimately lost the election to Bougainville's first president, late Joseph Kabui. However, despite the defeat, Momis was given another opportunity to represent PNG as an ambassador to China from 2007 to 2010. In 2010, he returned to Bougainville, once again to contest the Bougainville presidential election. This time, Momis won the election thereafter and served as the two-term president of the autonomous region of Bougainville from 2010 to 2020. In 2020, he was by constitution invalided to contest as the president for Bougainville, as the Bougainville constitution only allows for a candidate to be the president for only two terms. In July 2022, he contested for Bougainville regional seat and ultimately lost the seat to junior Peter Siamalili. At present Momis is now serving as the Chancellor for PNG University of Natural Resources and Environment.